today I'm in the Buckinghamshire town of Aldi and I'm going to challenge myself. Alright, so the challenge I'm going to set for myself today is to try and get three shots in this area with the church spire in them. Uh, it's very prominent in the landscape around here, you can see it from a long, long way away. So there's, uh, the river runs through, uh, you can get up on the hills, there's a couple of uh, paths you can walk along, a few different things. I've never been here before uh, to walk, I've been to Olney before, uh, just in the town, but I've never actually been out here. So my challenge, three shots with the spire. Alright, so I've found my first image, which is up on the top of this hill looking back down into the town and the church spire in the distance. So I've just attached the polarizer to the camera because it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and the sun's quite bright at the moment. Uh, the sky's really, really blue. There's a little bit of cloud. So I just want to take down that glare from the blue sky that's quite dominant in the picture. So I'm going for four hundredths of a second at f8 ISO 200 for this one. Let's see how that comes out. If I had a pound every time I saw a grey heron. I'd be a very wealthy man. Uh, hello. There's a grey heron along here. Everywhere I seem to go to do photography, I see a grey heron. She's brilliant, you know, it's fab fabulous. You know, more fair play to them if they're breeding and they're existing. Uh, something's right, there's plenty of fish in some of these rivers where I go. So, um, yeah, I'm not here to take grey heron pictures today. But hey, a grey hair. Well, I just stopped for a spot of lunch and um it made me think a little bit about this three shot challenge. I thought, hashtag three shot challenge. And some people uh, do triptychs, you know, the three pictures in a row. So that got me thinking a little bit. Maybe if you guys are interested in doing hashtag three shot challenge, tag them on Instagram or social media. I'll go through them and I'll do a video. So basically the brief is, go to a location and do three shots with the same thing in each shot make it a feature like the church of st peter and st paul where we're at today in olney tag me in them or hashtag the three shot challenge and i'll feature your work on my channel Composition number two is here. Uh, it's a little bit windy in this open field, so hopefully this is working okay and doesn't look too ridiculous. So I've got a uh, little bit of the river, a tributary, I suppose you would call it. Uh, it's a little bit dried out in places, uh, leading up to the Church of St Peter and St Paul here in Olney on my hashtag three shot challenge. So I'm going to just try and work on the composition for a couple of minutes, just so you can get it. Uh, the right amount of foreground and make sure maybe get a bit of water enough of the interest to make it a good shot and uh, I'll show you the settings I'm using okay so for this one it's a 50 of the second f11 ISO 100 and if I go to live view for you 
you can see that I've got on the a rule of thirds the bush and the spire in the distance and the horizon line is the tree line where all the buildings are the houses and so on at the back so we've got that shot so I've just changed the time into 30th of a second and it just brightens the image up a little bit I've got the polarizer on and hopefully that's going to bring down some of this blue sky it's a uh, quite a sunny day so that should hopefully allow me to uh, pull that back a little bit Okay, so third and final shot. And not only have you joined me as the bells of the church start to ring, uh, you've also joined me uh, on the floor of a graveyard, which I would never ever thought I would ever say that. But, um, so basically I've got uh, the composition lined up here. And I'm gonna do a shot looking up the spire of the church. Hence me being down on the ground. Um, I'm going for F 3.5 on this, which is the lowest that my kit 18 to 55 will go. And I'm about 22 mil on the lens. Um, I'm going for Turn the camera back on. I'm going for 400 to the second at ISO 100. And um, I'm going to try a test shot with that. Uh, if you do hear some girls screaming, there is a party going on not very far away in one of the local houses. Um, it's got nothing to do with me. I'm not making the girls excited, so don't worry. Um, so let's try this shot and see how we get on. So I've adjusted a couple of settings, roughly the same sort of shot, just adjusted the tripod a little bit. But um, I've got the polarizer on again because the sky, apart from a little bit of cloud that I'm just waiting for to drift across near the spire, um, it's pretty much a blue sky day today. So um, I'm going to dial it down a little bit just to see whether I can get rid of some of that. Uh, the girls seem to agree. So um, let's take another shot like that and see how that goes. So there we go. That's my hashtag three shot challenge from St. Peter and St. Paul Church here in Olney, Buckinghamshire. A uh, lovely little village, very nice. And very old graveyard, typical of what you expect of uh, something that's been here for 600 years, something like that, I guess. So please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to use the hashtag three shot challenge on uh, Instagram, or Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want to and um, I'll do a video based on the ones that I get submitted and the best shots that have come from that. Um, subject of your choice, up to you, whatever you want to do. I will see you all on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.